Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Chris Porter, Verlander and Son. I haven't seen that bit uh, and I was told it is one of his f uh, funniest bits. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Put my dad through a lot of shit and this story is about that. I never put him through much as a kid, but as an adult, uh, when I come home, where I haven't lived for 12 years, it's a bit of an event, and we like to party. And sometimes my dad gets caught up in the crossfire. Through a bunch of weird experiences, I've become friends with Justin Verlander, who's a pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, he's not, he's not here. Um, <laughs> the Tigers were in town playing the Royals, and uh, they had a night off, so Justin and I went out for some drinks. While we were out, he said, hey man, I think I know that girl over there. I think she's an actress. I'm pretty sure my girlfriend and I saw her in a movie last month. I should go get my picture taken with her, send it to my girlfriend. I said, hey man, we're in Kansas City. No fucking way that chick's an actress. <laughs> He said, nah, man. He calls the waiter over. He said, who's the chick over there? He goes, man, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is with Mumford and Sons. They're here playing the arena tomorrow night, and they're here having dinner. Justin says, well, send them a bottle on us, meaning him, <laughs> right? I'm not paying for that shit, okay? A, not a huge Mumford and Sons fan. <laughs> B, when I hang out with super rich people, I don't pay for shit, okay? <laughs> Sorry, you fly private, you're buying my shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? If he pays for my shit, it doesn't even show up on his register. If I pay for my shit, I can't buy shoes next month, and I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> the difference. So he sends them a bottle. They come over to say thank you. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. It's just and sons, all right? I don't know where Mumford was, but he wasn't there. I assume he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, huh? <laughs> so and sons come over, start talking to the Detroit Tigers. I'm not really involved, so I kind of tune it out. When I come back into focus, ampersand sons, are talking shit to the Detroit Tigers about beer pong. Like, they're like, hey, we'll whoop your ass at some beer pong. And the Detroit Tigers are like, we get paid very handsomely to put balls places. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bring it. <laughs> so I said, hey, fellas, my parents live about eight minutes from here. We could settle this. And I said that because I know full well that both and Sons and the Detroit Tigers have a complete four at both of their hotels where they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. So there's no reason to come to my parents' house. It was complete fake hospitality. <laughs> Until they turned around and said, fuck yeah, let's go to your parents' house and play beer pong. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Happened to me once. It's on a Sunday night. <laughs> Technically Monday morning. My parents aren't gypsies, all right? <laughs> they got real jobs with real responsibilities that start in about four hours. <laughs> but I also can't look at these dudes and be like, you guys, my parents. Shut up. So I just said, fuck it. Let's roll the dice, see what happens. So we start leaving. About the time we're heading out, my sister texts me and says, hey, I'm out and about. If you get home before I do, will you walk my dog? And I said, hey, unless you're out and about with the goddamn Dave Matthews band, you better get your ass home, because shit's about to go down at Mom and Paul's house. <laughs> So we roll into my parents' house like 12 deep and start throwing beer pong and shit got weird. Like weirder than I've already described. Like my sister, who's 30, 
ended up in her prom dress. I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. God bless her for still being able to fit in it, but also, the fuck, right? So, at one point in the evening, I decided I needed to step out and smoke some weed. And sons come with me. But since it was the middle of the season, the Detroit Tigers could not partake, so they had to pretend like it was the playoffs and watch. Uh, <laughs> so we come back in from smoking weed. My dad's downstairs and he's pissed. Apparently, while we were outside, we got a little loud, woken mom and dad up. So, I walk inside, and dad's like, the fuck's going on? I said, hey dad, uh, that's Ann Sons, <laughs> Mumford Ann Sons, and this is half the Detroit Tigers bullpen, and we're playing beer pong. <laughs> and it was in this moment that I realized that my dad was not incredibly sure if he was actually awake. <laughs> you gotta look at it from a dad's point of view. He walks downstairs in the middle of the night, sees a bunch of weird dudes that he kind of recognizes, and my sister's in her prom dress. <laughs> Shit's weird. Dad's obviously befuddled. He's just like, uh, is that fucking Justin Verlander? <laughs> yes, sir, it is. And he just went, I, whatever. And he just went back upstairs. And that was the last we saw of him. Whole next day, I'm freaking out. He's at work. I obviously slept in. My parents have done a lot for me over time. I can't be fucking up like this, so I got to make amends. So I'm like, I'm going to take him out to dinner. I'm going to buy him drinks. I'm going to do good by him. But then dad walks in the door, like he's had the greatest day of his goddamn life. He walks in like, what's up everybody? How you doing? How you doing? Pachoo! All right. <laughs> I looked at him, I go, the hell happened to you today? He said, I fucking hated you this morning. <laughs> I woke up on four hours sleep and I cursed your name all the way to work. But then I got to work and we had our morning meeting and everyone started asking me why I looked so tired and exhausted. And I started bitching about my kids bringing home Detroit Tigers and Mumford and & Sons and playing beer pong all night. And now I'm the coolest motherfucker <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. That was fun. So, that was Chris Porter, Verlander and & Son. And that was some funny shit, man. I really did enjoy that and uh, I am going to keep going for more Chris Porter stuff and I really enjoyed the story about how he uh, goes to his parents out and mess everything up or like make trouble for them and to be honest I have uh, I think I caused more trouble for my parents while I was an adult than I did while I was a kid like some proper fucked up shit like as, as I mentioned my family is very religious and uh, so it comes up with quite a lot of boundaries and stuff and I like to push boundaries so it was all funny man I really did enjoy that that was good uh, some good uh, good bit from Chris Porter I, I'm definitely looking forward to do some more and I hope you enjoyed this if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment I'll see you guys next time